What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a Gigapan, and I think you're going to find a lot of these really interesting. But let me just say this about the videos, or at the moment, lack of, right? Here's the thing. My job, I'm very busy at it. Uh, the last three days, we had issues with all kinds of stuff, whether it was card readers at the cash registers, uh, phone lines. Uh, this store was so old that, uh, believe it or not, check this out. Uh, they were running like on a dial-up, although it was a cable modem, but it was like a dial-up through these. I'm going... Who does this anymore? But anyway, we got it all solved. We're good. So this is what we're going to do. I'm not going to promise what days I do these. When I get the time, like today, I'm going to knock it out and get it out for you guys. This may happen again tomorrow and may happen for a week from now. The reason why I don't want to promise anything is I don't want to let you guys down. Okay? So I'm going to try to knock it out because it's something I still want to do. It's not that I want to stop doing these. Uh, I still want to do the videos, so we're going to do that. Again, nothing promised, but we're still going to be doing them. So, you know, just hang in there with me and uh, we'll get some done. Let's just hop right into this. Here's the Gigapan we'll be looking at right here. You can see it's right here, Mirador Butte. And this was put together by Nev T. Thank you, Neville Thompson, for your work. We do appreciate you. I don't know if anybody's seen this, but there's some really weird, ornate things. And I don't think any of this here is rocks, or at least this is not a hillside or a butte. I believe these to be structures, and I'm going to show you just the smallest little details that you may agree. We're going to jump from right to left on this in different spots, and we're going to have a closer look. Let's just jump right into it. All right, we're going to start from the right-hand side, like I said. And I'm going to just show you some really weird-looking rocks, if you will, and you tell me what you think, as always. You guys always get the last say. Just some really strange rocks. Now, up here on this hill, it almost looks like these things have been organized and purposely put there, right? Look at the rocks right here. We have like a thin wall of rock here, and then it goes across this way, like this has been put together like this. So you can see like some rocks in the back, a couple drops down over here. Then we have assortment of rocks over here. We also have what looks like some kind of weird wall or something right there. Let's zoom into it. See that, folks? Always take a look at these little areas, too. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the screen. Check out the patterns or the weirdness going on right here. Okay? Notice how we have a square. Well, it looks like a round dot. Something like a long piece sticking right there on top of this one. Okay? Or overlaid over the top of it, right? Something right here. I'll put it right in the middle. You can see where they disguise something right here. I'll put it right smack dab in the middle of the screen. There's a little bit of pinkish or white right there. See that? We have this right here. Put this in the middle of the screen. You can see what looks like white pieces right here. Like a tip of that. But you can see it is actually square. And has this side piece to it right there. With this black dot. See that? But look at the way they try to ghost this thing out right here in the middle. Check that out. What do you guys think of that? Let's back up so it's not so blurry. I'll put them both in the middle of the screen again, right there. Check that out. Check out this funky looking rock. If you look carefully, you can see what looks like vertical slots. They're gray. But you can see the outline, I'm very faint, one here and one slightly below it, right there. Check out the way this rock looks, right? Hmm. Now, some people might argue that is a rock. Okay. But I'm seeing other details in here that just don't look like a rock. Here. Look at this piece right here, right in the middle of the screen. I'll put it smack dab in the middle. Look at this weird, funky shape. But have a look at the other little shapes that are on top, on the side. See that? Let me back out just a little bit so it's not too blurry. Check that out. I find it really interesting, folks. You know, they try to disguise everything to look like a rock when clearly it is not, right? Again, there's a lot of ornate things in here. These right here in the center of the picture. Check this out. This is cool. You got what looks like a gray rectangular slab type thing right here. See that? 
middle of the screen. We have what looks like cutouts in this rock, although if you've got to tilt your head to the left, you can see these cutouts. One here, one not so defined to the left of that. See that? Find that pretty cool. Interesting pieces up here. Check these out. And it's kind of odd. Weird pieces. I gotta say, it looks like some kind of like a nut's been cracked open. You can see like the white underneath it. Check that out right there. Every time I look at these things, folks, I see a debris field. I see things that just don't belong. Look at this right here. Looks like some kind of squared off piece with smaller pieces inside it. Trying to make out what the heck that is right in the middle of the screen. All this white right here. Check that out. I mean, to me, it's no secret. This planet definitely had a civilization on it. And we're just seeing remnants of it. That's basically what this comes down to. Look at this right here. Look at this funky looking rock right here. You're telling me that's natural? I'm sorry. Nope. Eh, wrong answer. Check this out, folks. Look at the intricate pieces. Again, being ornate. Look at that. That, to me, screams something mechanical, possibly electronic, but it is intelligently made, no doubt, in my mind. Okay? In my opinion, that's what that is. That is not natural in any way, shape, or form. Some of the pieces in here. Look at it. I see, like I said, I see things laying around, these white pieces all over the place. It looks like a debris field. You can see like half of this one here, right here in the middle of the screen, it's like white, white, and all of a sudden it goes into a, this tan is over the top of it where they're literally using colors to take it out, right? Got this weird looking block here. Looks like it has like a tab sticking down from the top edge of that right there. Check that out. Kind of a weird shadow coming down from it. I'm going to bounce over to the center here, just where the rocks start to meet, right here. Now check out some of the funky looking rocks in this area. Okay. Check this out. You got like a little bit of a white piece here. It has like a grayish area, like they turned it into a grayer area right there. Other small whiter pieces, things like that. Real odd as far as I'm concerned. More rocks that just don't look natural at all. Check out this like pointed piece right here. What do you guys think of that? Is it? You see something right here? They got this brownish, we could call it airbrushing if you will. And it looks like there's something gray or slightly whitish inside here. Check that out. Okay, right here, this is the one I'm looking for. Check this piece out. You can see this piece right here, it's kind of smooth, looks silver. Hmm. And we're talking about just rocks laying there, but then we have this piece sitting here. Find it pretty interesting. Now let's bounce over here. This is where it gets really interesting. Now, you can see these rocks at the top here, right? Let's zoom in here a little bit. Now, the reason why I find this really interesting is because we have this layered rock, or they want you to believe this layered rock, but check this out. Zoom in closer. Why the smoothness? It's almost like their AI rock mimicking software is not doing the job properly. It skips over pieces. And what we're seeing is the result of that. Check this out. We got a smaller piece here, looks smooth, and we have this piece right here. What's the chances of that? Right here. Nice slab right on top of these wannabe rock. Not sure that's natural or not, but you can see that. Okay. I'm going to jump down here. And folks, this is, again, this is where it gets really crazy. I'm not sure what to make of this. I don't think this is natural at all. Okay. This weird looking rock here. Now, this is the most interesting part I found. Okay. Check this out. This, to me, in my opinion, looks like a set of stairs that looks like it goes up into something up here. Now, is it? I don't know. 
But look at this carefully. At the very least, it looks like some kind of wall or part of wall. You can see how it comes out right here, has a 90 degree, and then of course it's crumbled up right here. But look right here. You can see what looks like a stair. It goes up higher, another one, another one, another one. And look at this right area right here. It has this nice angle coming down, but you don't see the rest of it. You only see this right here. It literally reminds me of a set of stairs. Now, is it? I don't know. There's no way to vet this, right? But check this out. Look in the back of this. You can see this white piece here. And you can see where they did something right here. Get something that looks like a whitish grayish right there. And of course, it's some kind of texture they throw over this, some kind of weird thing going on. That to me, folks, is a wall or set of stairs or combo of the two. I don't know. But that's what that looks like to me. You can literally see the stairs are eroded. In my opinion, okay? We have this other block or looks like half or three quarters of a block, rectangular block right there. These funky looking pieces right here. What is going on there? Since when is that natural? Now, to me, again, in my opinion, this is intelligently made, but they made it the same texture. So you and I believe it's just some kind of weird, funky rock or rocks that have been eroded in a certain way. And this is the reason why they're shaped like that. Okay. I don't believe that's the case at all. We have some pieces right here. Check this out. Kind of weird looking, right? Check this out. White pieces, but they did their best to try to put the texture over it. Check that out. What is that laying right there? And you can see what looks like pieces of it shooting out of it. One, two, three. What could that be? Here's what I think is part of a wall. Here we go. Right here. Like a section of a, a crumbled wall. Again, I can't vet any of this. Purely speculation. But in my eyes, in my opinion, that's what it looks like. And it kind of goes along with what I believe to be a set of eroded stairs. That's what it looks like. And folks, you will get the link to this, as always. This is what I found the most interesting. That doesn't mean that's all there is to it. Like we can look right here. It looks like some kind of weird block. Sections right here of the so-called rock. It looks like it's eroded steel. See that? Right there. See right here, there's a piece in the center. We got a piece running vertical, at least looking up and down. And we got the other higher wall of that right there. It looks like rusted metal to me. Only it's been changed into this color. Now, if I was to put this in Photoshop and let it do its own auto color, contrast, and so on and so forth, I guarantee you this would have a different look, okay? But that's it for this one. Folks, plenty to see in here. Again, you get the link. This is actually a really good photo because it's got some decent quality. And you can see, like, oh my God, like the amount of manipulation and all kinds of stuff like that. Airbrushing and different textures. Like here, here's a perfect example. Look at this on the right compared to this on the left. What's the difference? Why is it like that? Look at it. That's real? I'm sorry, I don't believe that for a moment, folks. Again, I believe these are stairs, and right behind it, we can see what looks like mechanical pieces embedded in this rock. But, of course, you guys give me your take. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to hear what you guys say, you know? Folks, when I see this stuff, you know how I feel. I see a lot of ornate pieces in there. I see a lot of natural stuff. But I see what look like structures. Things that are ruins. Stuff been blown to hell and thrown all over the place. Completely strewn all over the landscape. That's the way I see it. I know a lot of you folks feel that way. If you don't, either way, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Anyway, guys, again, I'm going to be still making videos. It might be two days from now I'll make another one. It might be a week. I don't know. Again, I just don't want to promise anything. But I do have videos I want to get out and I want to continue to do these. So stay tuned. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.